It's day number seven and the race across America continues. The cyclists are making their way out of Kansas and this race year is a competitive one. How's it looking behind me? Oh, tight. I've never seen that many riders this close together this far into the race. Yeah. Julian Eisenbeis seemed to be taken by surprise when Dave Hossie made his move. I'm just going to have to ride as fast as I can and worry about myself. I know how fast I can ride. There's a lot of good competition. Good job. Good job, man. That was cool. Yeah, Kodak moment, right? Julian's motto, keep on riding. And so he is. And we're doing a crew change here right now. Eska's getting a reward massage for his uh, steady performance today out there. I had a crash the second night and I have a lot of pain in my arm, hand. I was close to a DNF, but I had pain in my legs. <laughs> it's a tough race. There's been many miles left in this race. He's been in his training very fast on his shiv, his specialized shiv. So I believe if he has the winds in his favor, which doesn't really happen on Ram because it's always a huge head or cross. Hopefully the wind gods will be at his back and he'll just utilize that to just fly. Robert Ferris is having a successful rookie year so far. He looks great every time we see him. And when they hit time station 32 here in Camdenton, Missouri, they are over halfway. that the lead cyclist came in uh, last evening, 12.45, Pierre. We were excited to welcome him here in Camdenton, Missouri. Race Across America owes a lot to the wonderful souls who work so hard to put these events on. And we want to make a special mention to someone here at time station number 32. Eric is a great part of the Race Across America family, and we hope he gets well. He had a stroke. He was so enthusiastic. He would be here 24 hours a day with his pickup truck. Eric, we miss you, and our thoughts are all with you, and so are the cyclists. Thanks. Welcome to Missouri. From here, it's on to Illinois and Indiana. I'm Jen Salazar, and I'll have more stories from the road as the Race Across America continues.